Hello friends, I am Dr. Rajesh Kumar Mohan and I have secured All India Rank 102 in UPSC Civil Services Examination 2020. So in this video, I am going to tell that uh, what are the non-verbal skills that you can use in your communication for UPSC personality test. As we all know that uh, mains result is about to come and after that, we have to start your, our preparation for uh, personality test. In personality test, communication plays a key role. And within communication, there are two parts to it. One is verbal communication and one is non-verbal communication. What I feel that verbal communication, yes, is very important. But at the same time, the relevance of non-verbal communication is very much. I would like to share my own experience. In uh, 2019, I went for personality test and I got 20, 29 marks. In 2020, I went for a personality test and this time I got 184 marks. So from my experience, you can derive two conclusions. First conclusion is that yes, personality test score can make a big difference between selection and non-selection. And second is that in my case, I feel the improvement has been on account of three factors. One is increase in knowledge, obviously. Second is increase in communication skills. Third is in improvement in non-verbal communication. And I will say that non-verbal communication improvement is a low hanging fruit, which with the minor change, you can produce a drastic change in your personality test outcome and your personality as such. For communication, you have to do a lot more of hard work and for knowledge enhancement also, you have to do a lot more hard work. For per unit, uh, Per unit of uh, effort put, the outcomes are far more in nonverbal communication. So I will share certain uh, nonverbal communications for personality tests. First is that it is said that personality is reflected from the moment you enter the room of an interview board until and also it is very important during the exit. So during entry and exit to the personality test room, boardroom, it's very important that we follow certain precautions. We are aware that we have to look formal there. there. So first of all, there is this opening of the door. So if you go to multiple places for PT test, you would see that uh, they would tell that how to open the door and how to close the door. But I feel that is not relevant because during the personality test there would be a person who would be opening door for you so there is no need of knocking on the door you have to just say may i come in sir or madam according to the chairperson you have to remember this fact it should not be that you see or, or there, some people will say that you have to go uh, and say may i come in ma'am if there is a female member it has to be the chairperson of the board according to which you have to say good morning or good afternoon and be aware that uh, in fact even may i come in sir or ma'am has to be decided according to that so you have to enter the room politely by saying may i come in so that you take a permission in leaving the room, you have to say thank you, sir. Uh, and then you have to leave the room and don't make uh, certain, uh, don't touch the door because it would be opening on your own. There would be a person for opening the door there. So this is my opinion about entry and exit. You have to address as per the time, as a proper uh, may I come in, as per the uh, sir and ma'am salutation, who is the chairperson of the particular board. Second is that after that, you have to wish the board. So whom should you wish the uh, board first? It should be the chairperson only. It should be the chair. You can uh, just say, uh, good morning, sir, if the chairperson is there, good morning, sir, and good morning, uh, uh, sirs and ma'ams. Or you can improve a bit and you can first address the chairperson, then address the female members and then 
to other main male members and remember while uh, wishing these persons the board members you have to be particularly careful that you have to say ma'am to a female member never say sir to a female member that is a clear minus five you are getting if you do that i used to do it a lot and then in the final interview i was able to practice and improve upon that third aspect is about after wishing those board members you go sit on your place now while sitting you have to adopt a non aggressive and humble posture remember in upsc personality test is the humbleness that would be taking you there so you have to have a very humble and polite posture while you sit in front of the board members because only politeness can bring you good quality questions easy questions if you are aggressive the board members would be feeling very uncomfortable and they will ask very difficult question and that way you would not be able to show your to show your true knowledge remember there is a lot to learn in this world and whatever effort you put in there would be some areas that these board members can grill you on so it's better that you be in their team give them the respect they deserve while sitting while leaving while entering so that you get very good questions and now that way your interview would be going very smooth and you would be able to perform to the maximum potential you have next non verbal um, communication is about eye contact now there is a lot of confusion of how much eye contact and with whom uh, the eye contact should be there so if you deconstruct it so the first thing is that during the question ask uh, when a person is asking chairman or member is asking a question to you so at that time you should look directly into the eyes of the person who the question is asking don't see this left or right just under the impression of showing that you are addressing the whole uh, the whole of the board it should be the person who is asking because that shows your seriousness that you are listening to the question being asked so then you reply now while you replying giving the exam answer it will depend on what kind of answer you are doing that you have to maintain the eye contact if it's a yes or a factual question Uh, like for example what is the sex ratio in haryana you just uh, look into the eye of the uh, person who is asking and give the figure there but if it is about your opinion that what are the solutions you would suggest in order to improve the sex ratio in haryana so in that case you start with the person who has uh, asked and then as the because you have a time to answer to it you keep on seeing to the other members also uh in between so that would be the optimum eye contact you would be having the eye contact is very important because that is the connection you are establishing with the person who is asking question and with yourself so this is the was the next non verbal communication then comes to the hand movements so some people have a bit of using the hands like uh if they have to show a movement they will do this they would use that yes 1 2 3 this kind of hand movements are there so the rule is that you have to use least movement as as less uh movement of hands as possible but it should not obstruct into the fair and smooth flow of your ideas if you are a, not a kind of person who cannot smoothly express the idea with the, your hands without the use of the hands then you should use your hands because that because it should not become an artificial and you should not have an very un incoherent way of answering to the question so hand movements it should depend as per your personality if you are able to give a uh, um, answer with good flow with the least movement then don't use the uh, hands but if you are not able to establish flow uh, uh, clarity in your answer without use of hands then you should your use your hands and this you can do only after practicing next is pause taking so what happens that question is asked and then you answer so people say you wait before answering it and it's very important you organize your thoughts and you answer it but here you have to be cautious how much you should wait it should not be very less and not be very long also very less 
the person would say think that he is he or she has not even heard the question and he is jumping to the answer directly so that would be my opinion that uh, if there should be a time gap and it should not be too long because it would become boring for that person and what wo- you would see that people would change the question because they don't have the time uh, to wait for your a self reflection so it should be the optimum so that there is a 10 to 12 second gap and then you start and it should not be artificial you think uh, uh, what is the like for example uh, if the question is asked you think what is the question and how you are trying would be trying to address this, that question so that should be the right uh, post time next is confidence see the confidence is key in this paper uh, in this personality test if if you have low confidence it would be reflecting on your face and they would feel that the person who is giving the uh, the uh, uh, interview is a very dull personality you have to ensure that you never show a lack of confidence there you answer your uh, your um, uh, questions uh, confidently which you know and uh, Uh, if you don't know you confidently say that sir i don't know uh, it there is no harm in saying no but you have to say it confidently your mm, it uh, so that you look a good uh, personality uh, good personality to engage for 10 to 15 or 30 uh, minutes so uh, they are, they should also have a feel good factor and the final and the most ultimate non verbal communication skill is that you should have a smile on your face and that's the most important thing for non verbal communication and what happens is that if you are like in first timers they always have a smile uh, but what happens is after 2 3 years of preparation this uh, exam takes a lot of toll on your smile so you have to learn to smile if you are not able to smile naturally you should do artificially because smile is the ultimate non verbal tool that can help Uh, you in improving your score in personality test so finally i would say this is this was from my side that how you can improve uh, your non verbal communication which is a key component of a com- uh, communication which would be very much helpful in giving a very good return in personality test and i would tell you one that in giving uh, putting efforts into non verbal communication is a low hanging fruit it will show result very fast and then uh, this should be the base on which you should build others so one non verbal communication then communication and then knowledge so it should be a pyramid of way for pre- preparation of personality and don't ever neglect personality test it can bring a drastic change in your performance in your ranking and you can you can gain uh, you can get a lot number of marks here because it is 275 marks and even people are getting 210 up to 210 and no paper in gs you can get that many marks so with this i'll end my session and i would like to say thank you to all of uh, you for watching the video and my best wishes for your examination thank you